How's it going everyone? John here. Welcome back to another Streamlabs OBS tutorial. If you're new to the channel or new to the series, you're wanting to learn the technical side of streaming or you're wanting to learn how to grow, be sure to go ahead and take a look at the other content on the channel. And if you're enjoying that content, definitely go ahead and subscribe. And if you are wanting to reach out to me, you can always follow me on my different networks, which you can find in the video description below. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your sponsor banner. Sponsor banner is basically a cycle of different types of images, and it's very similar to the image slideshow in a way. So if you haven't seen the video for the slideshow, definitely go ahead and take a look at the playlist. I'll throw it in the card above. That way you guys can see what I'm talking about. But the way we're going to set this up is it's going to look similar to something like this. So I've already set one up. So it starts off with just this one logo here, and then we give it about nine seconds or so, and then it transitions over to the next one. Now, the nine seconds is defaulted. You can always change it, but that's pretty much what it is. And you usually will see people having this type of stuff displayed whenever they are uh, having like different sponsors they want to share. Sometimes people even do a picture, so it's, it's kind of interesting on uh, like why they have sponsor banner versus image slideshow. But so the way to set this up, is we're going to, of course, create our scene, go to the plus by sources, and we're going to be looking for sponsor banner. So it says you can set up a sponsor banner and it'll see to be able to edit, add, remove, update, rotate sponsor logos on streaming channels or on the streaming channel. channel. Um, the streamer manually adds images of sponsors. So we'll go ahead and hit add source. As you can see, I already have one. So we're going to create a new source. And this is what you're going to be presented with. So this you don't have to worry about the width and height. So we're going to look about talk about the actual like placements and stuff like that. So you can do single or double. So you can have them side by side or you can have them top and bottom. Personally, I like using single. That way I don't have to worry about taking up too much space, but you guys could choose your own preference. So for the visual settings, what you could do here is you can have it to where the widgets like high duration you can mess with that you can mess with the actual show duration the banners width the banners height and you can also have a kind of like a animation for it when it comes into the actual stream and everything like that so you have a bunch of different ones you can choose from so kind of figure out like which one is going to work best for which how you want it to actually look all right so then once you have that all set up we're going to go over to the image set so this is where I have my images set up. Now normally it's only got one, so we're just gonna leave it like that. And what I did was I just uploaded my images to the actual media gallery here in Streamlabs. And you can either do that for yourself or you can grab images that they have and stuff like that. So once you have all the images you want, then you can go ahead and just click on the other image. And I think it was this one that I wanna use. So we'll go with that. So now I have that set for number one. And then if I wanna add an image, you click add. You can mess with the different like seconds for how long that image will take before it displays again. And then we'll go ahead and we'll grab this one. And then if we add one more, as you can see, it stays at 10. So we'll have to go and mess with that later. So we'll grab that one. And we want maybe this one to display at like say 12. No, 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 12. There we go. <laughs> so we'll change that to 12. So once we have everything how we want it, the source, only if you need to refresh it, if it's running into some problems, you only have to click that. Everything else just leave the same. All right, so once we have everything we want for it, then we can go ahead and enlarge it, and then we'll give it a wait, and we'll see that everything will slightly start to change. So we got that one, and then we give it about 11 seconds before it will change again. And you can continuously change these durations and everything. That way they could be a little bit faster, maybe a little bit slower. And you can see the animation is bouncing and everything like that. But that's pretty much how the sponsor banner works. It's very easy to set up, very, very straightforward in terms of how to set it up. But if you guys have any questions further on it, let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys are still new to the channel, be sure to go ahead and take a look at the other content and don't forget to subscribe. But I will see you guys in a future video and thank you so much for watching.